today's news, this beautiful 17-year-old Filipino girl is K-pop's newest trainee. Krisha Chu, who was born and raised in the Philippines, but who now resides in the United States, went on to the TV show in Korea called K-pop Star and performed singing and dancing in front of JYP and Yang Hyun Suk of YG Entertainment and totally killed it. She did. She really did. You and I just sat and watched her entire performance of 12 minutes and then her get evaluated by the judges. She looks Korean. She acts Korean. Her Korean is really, really strong. One of the judges had no idea that she wasn't Korean. They just ate up her entire performance. Yes, not to say that they didn't have some constructive criticism for her, because they definitely did. She definitely has some things that she needs to work on. For example, breathing. That's something that JYP was very strong about. You need to work on your breathing skills so that you can carry all your notes, both high and low, very strongly. But otherwise, they totally loved her, and I can see why they did. And if this girl is not in a K-pop group by the end of the year, I will be shocked. Please tell me that you know who she is training under already, which agency, because I forgot to check. Urban Works Entertainment. That's the name of the entertainment company that she's a trainee under? Yes, they scouted her while she was living with her family in San Francisco, and they brought her and her mother and her younger brother also came over with her. And they're currently residing in South Korea where this entertainment company has put her in a dormitory with four other girls, I believe, and has been putting her in Korean language lessons. There's four of them in the apartment or the dorm where she's staying currently. So does that mean, or do you think it means she's going to debut in a four-member K-pop group? Well, it means that she could. It, she's on the track probably to debut with a K-pop group. But will it be this particular group? Maybe not. If you ask me, she is going to make a move very quickly over to YG or JYP in like the next couple weeks. Yeah, they were totally <laughs> eating her up and saying, we want you to come to our agency. They loved her so much. They were even saying, why do we have girls, why don't we have girls like this auditioning for our agency? Yang Hyun Suk was mentioning how much he liked that she speaks English and her Korean is almost perfect. Basically, he just flattered her 100%. Like he didn't have enough good things Things to shower her with and then it was JYP's turn to talk and he liked everything but her breathing while she sings but he really loved her dancing she decided to dance to a slow or slower ish guitar only strumming song so she had to really seductively move and accentuate her dance moves and she's 17 she kept kind of like pushing up her breasts not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's like the new move. Like we just made a video a few days ago about Laisha doing this. And I thought that was a unique thing, like a more accentuated sexual move. Apparently it's okay for 17 year olds to make this move too. Yeah, that's- And to three male judges, excuse me, sorry. They were, it didn't, that was the only part that I didn't like about the whole thing is why can't they have a female judge up there? But then JYP went straight forward and was like, your dance moves are kill. I love your dance moves are blah, 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 blah. The dance moves. Don't, don't like, sexy shame her. She can dance however the fuck she wants to dance. No, I know. I'm sorry. Is that what I was doing? That's not what I was intending to do. I just feel a little weird that it's three older men up there and the way that JYP was looking is like, Oh. I want her for my company. <laughs> Dollar signs in his eyes, right? Exactly. There were a couple of things that actually stood out to me that haven't gotten mentioned so far. And the first thing is K-pop star has now opened themselves up to trainees. They didn't do this in prior seasons. And I think that this is definitely taking it to a new level of people who are trying to become famous, that this is going to fast track their trainee status, if you will. And and I think that she's definitely going to be a part of whatever K-pop group comes out in the end of this thing that will be jointly promoted by Antenna Entertainment, JYP, and YG, because that's what is going to happen at the end of this K-pop star It show. makes sense, too, that they would allow trainees or whoever, if they're trying to make the very best television program with the highest ratings possible. This girl clearly, has, she's had one year as a trainee to prepare herself for this. And you can tell that she's definitely giving it her all. 
her Korean language. I mean, it probably helps that she's in a dormitory with four other people. She probably has to speak Korean at home and she's going to school for it. So she's getting the immersion experience, which is probably really helping her Korean language skills. But she's also clearly practicing her dance skills and also practicing her singing skills because she was really good. Well, that's what you gotta do if you wanna be a K-pop idol. Shout out to the Philippines, representing in the K-pop world. Hopefully this girl makes it and joins and they debut and just rock the socks off everyone who likes K-pop music. Comments down below, who else from the Philippines, besides Sandara Park, <laughs> <laughs> do you know that's made it in the K-pop scene? And what kind of group would you like to see this girl in? A more cutesy girly girl? Or do you think she would be better in an edgier K-pop group? Click the like button, you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.